The Caribbean and Central America are natural paradises rich in cultural diversity. But the region constantly faces the threat of tropical cyclones, earthquakes, and extreme rainfall events, among other natural hazards. The financial resources needed to cover government responsibilities in the aftermath of disasters are considerable, and in most cases, the demand exceeds the government's capacity to generate internal and external funds to respond to emergencies. For example, at least one major hurricane and numerous tropical storms cross the Caribbean each year. From 1979 to 2005, aggregate economic losses due to storms were estimated at $16.6 .6 billion U.S. And between 1970 and 2010, over 24 major adverse events, such as earthquakes, tropical cyclones, and devastating floods, generated damages and losses in Central America exceeding $30 billion U.S. Of those damages and losses, 64% were caused by weather-related extremes and 36% by earthquakes. The impact of disasters on infrastructure and the production of goods and services can undermine macroeconomic and fiscal performance and thus the ability of the state to ensure the well-being of the population. How can these challenges be addressed? One option is to implement financial protection mechanisms that provide access to liquidity in a cost-efficient manner after a disaster. Such mechanisms should be part of a comprehensive disaster and fiscal risk management policy framework. Financial protection includes a range of instruments to protect government finances, including reserve funds, contingent credit lines, liability insurance for public goods, catastrophe bonds, and parametric insurance, among other measures. Prompted by the damage brought by Hurricane Ivan in 2004, the Caribbean community, CARICOM, heads of government, approached the World Bank for assistance to design and implement a cost-effective risk transfer program for member governments. With the support of the governments of Japan, Canada, the United Kingdom, France, the European Union, the Caribbean Development Bank, and the governments of Ireland and Bermuda, the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility was created in 2007 to provide coverage to Caribbean governments against hurricanes and earthquakes. After seven years of success, in 2014, the facility was restructured into a segregated portfolio company to facilitate offering new products, such as the excess rainfall product, and expansion into new geographic areas, and was renamed CRIF SPC. In 2015, the Council of Ministers of Finance of Central America, Panama, and the Dominican Republic, COSIFINE, signed a Memorandum of Understanding with CRIF SPC, which allows Central American countries to join CRIF in order to have access to low-cost parametric insurance. CRIF SPC offers tropical cyclone, earthquake, and excess rainfall insurance to its members. Payouts for these products are triggered when modeled losses are larger than the deductible of the premium, since using models instead of actual damage evaluations facilitates the prompt payment of claims. Member countries receive substantial benefits in terms of immediacy. CRIF SPC provides payments in 14 days or less after an eligible event. It is an efficient way to cover liquidity shortfalls arising after a disaster, when liquidity is usually needed most. Efficiency. By being part of the facility, countries can reduce operational costs, optimize resources by avoiding intermediaries and evaluation expenses, as no in-situ damage evaluation is required. Financial benefits. In case of a major disaster, a country could receive up to 20 times the amount of the premium paid, depending on the policy parameters selected. 
If countries engage collectively in reinsurance and capital markets through CRIF SPC, their premiums could be reduced by up to 50% of what it would cost if they were to purchase identical coverage individually. Flexibility. Member countries have the option to choose the type of risk, the premium parameters, and according to their finances, how much to invest in the annual premiums. Demonstrated utility. Since its inception in 2007, CRIF SPC has made 22 payments to 10 member countries, totaling approximately $69 million U.S. Haiti received a $23.4 million U.S. payment on its tropical cyclone and excess rainfall policies in October 2016 after Hurricane Matthew becoming the largest payout in the history of CRIF. And in 2016, Nicaragua was the first Central American member to receive payouts from CRIF when it received $1.6 million U.S. on its earthquake and tropical cyclone policies after a 6.1 earthquake in June and tropical cyclone Otto in November. The time has come to position the Caribbean and Central America as leaders in the implementation of comprehensive fiscal and disaster risk management policies. And with the support of international donors and the World Bank, initiatives like CRIF-SPC will go a long way toward achieving this goal.